thank you for joining us today for Busan Foreign School Shark Tank. I'm Luna Yun and I'm Marina Khan. Let's get right into the first news. A couple of weeks ago, we had our paper rally. The PFO Student Council put a lot of work and effort into making an event that got everyone in the school involved and we think it play off. Why don't we take a close look at the first paper rally of the year? This year's paper rally was really memorable. Let's find out why it was so special. If you could describe the pep rally in one word, what is it? Um, if I had one word, I would say bonding, I guess, because like this first pep rally was more f- to like get the school to know like what we're about, and like we wanted to like have everybody come together, you know, just get our school spirit up. So yeah, bonding, I guess. What was the most difficult thing about planning this year's pep rally? Um, I would say the most difficult thing was just getting like the Stuco members like together to like meet up and like plan the actual thing because there's like volleyball going on right now after school right so then we never had the time to like fully get everybody together but like other than that like there wasn't any problems just like timing I guess. Uh, how did the idea of this pep rally come up? So uh, we were in our student council meeting and um, we are aware that pep rallies involve the whole school so from k5 all the way to senior so this year we wanted to do something that involves everyone not only for the purpose of engaging every single student but also because this year is one of the years where we have the most new students so we knew we needed to do something a that involves everyone and b that would give the new students and new teachers actually as well an idea of what BFS is like. Uh, That BFS is a fun, uh, engaging community for all students. Uh, So that's where the idea of the relay race came. We thought it was gonna be a perfect way to get all the kids involved and have all these crazy, messy games um, just to engage all the new students and teachers. What is the most memorable thing about the pep rally? Why? The most memorable thing about the pep rally is when Ms. Branch started pouring the yogurt all over Philip's face because it was really funny and when Ms. Leon and Ms. Weehee were like doing their, what is it, Zumba dances or whatever. <laughs> that was really funny, yeah. If you could describe the pep rally in one word, what is it? Kind of fun slash chaotic. Fun chaotic, one word. How do you think the pep rally unifies students? Well, it's like a place where the whole school comes together and like a gym and they can have fun and like get to know each other better. If you could describe the pep rally in one word, what is it? Um, I guess it would be unique. In the past few weeks, there has been a few earthquakes in Korea. A lot of people were shocked to this due to the sudden disaster. However, thanks to the new technology and professional seismologists, The Korean government could predict the earthquakes and get a good data to warn the population. An earthquake measuring 4.5 on Richter scale rattled the historical city of Gyeongju on the evening of September 12th. The Korean Meteorological Administration states that the thermal occurred at around 8.33 p.m. and was the aftershock of the 5.8 magnitude earthquake that jolted the historical city. It was the most powerful aftershock on the record in Korea and the equivalent in the magnitude to 3,000 of TNT. Fortunately, there were no victims of severe or long-term injuries. Students of Busan Foreign School are safe and prepared. We already had a drill in September and we're going to have more in the future. In addition, teachers are practicing behind the scenes on how to get students during an earthquake or other potential disaster. Furthermore, the government of South Korea is sending warning signals whenever there is a natural disaster or problem with weather. Next, we'll look at the volleyball teams and how they're going so far in the season. I think the best part about coaching volleyball this year is that I was worried about uh, coaching the boys and how successful I would be. Uh, similarly, in previous years, uh, I decided to coach uh, high school girls soccer instead of high school boys soccer because I felt 
uh, most of the boys were much better than me at soccer and I wouldn't have much to teach them. Similarly, going into this year, I felt that uh, a lot of the boys would be better than me at volleyball and I wouldn't have much to teach them. But so far, I feel like uh, I'm succeeding and I am teaching them a whole lot and I have seen a lot of improvement. The best part of coaching volleyball this year is definitely the group of girls that I'm coaching. Um, they have a lot of team spirit, they've got a lot of positive energy, they're always building each other up, they're always excited about games no matter what the outcome is. Um, it's just, it's really fun out there to be a part of a team that is that positive. But I would say that there's not necessarily failures that I would see, but I would say that we definitely have goals that we can um, strive for. Some of the successes is definitely just um, building each other up, bringing a really positive atmosphere to the core at all times. Um, the girls have a lot of really great energy. They're always um, saying, all right, we got it next time, you've got this, and giving a lot of high fives and stuff. Um, that's really cool. I think we're really, really great at serving, and so I'd say that's definitely one of our successes. Uh, a goal that we have is serve receiving this year. Um, that's something that we're really going to be working on a lot in, over the next month to improve on is our service session. Large success this year is our attendance, I think. Uh, so far, currently, we have 16 students, and we've had about six practices, and so far, we have perfect attendance. Every student has come to practice, and no student has uh, missed the practice for any reason whether it's sickness or makeup test or detention or anything. Every student has always come to practice. And over my five years of coaching at EFS, I think uh, high school boys volleyball this year has had the best attendance out of all the teams I've coached. Since last year, people on our team started to play better, like way better. The serves are better, the spikes are better, the sets are better, and also, we started to cooperate in the team, we started to call the ball, and I just really like how our captain tried to push our team for trophy. Personally, I am really satisfied with the results of last tournament, because we took two games, but we could have taken one more, it was like 39 to 40, and I remember it was a really tough game, and actually like we worked hard for it, we really tried our best, and we did succeed in those two games, but we, we, we can do way better than that. And I hope that in the tournament, we will win. What do you like about the FS volleyball team? Uh, what I like about the FS girls volleyball team is that we have a very positive spirit and we work really well together and the teammates and the coaches are great. How do you feel about the yesterday's tournament? Um, I'm actually, I feel great. We won two games, lost two, but I think there's progress to be made, but I think it was a nice game. It was really fun. How does it feel to be one of the captains of the girls' volleyball team? Um, honestly, I'm thankful and I was kind of surprised to be chosen as captain. I'll try my best to bring the positive energy to the team. And speaking of the great events in our school, we would like to congratulate the new members of BFS National Honor Society. The 2016-2017 school year has brought a lot of new faces to our BFS community. Let's take a closer look at the new teachers and Dean of Students, Mrs. Harvey. So my favorite part about BFS so far has just been the students. Um, I've been so impressed by how hardworking they are and how polite. I love that everybody says goodbye to me as they walk out of my classroom. Uh, it just makes me feel so special. Um, and I've just been really impressed by how welcoming everybody is. My favorite thing about teaching at BFS are, I guess I have two, the students who are all wonderful and kind and motivated and the teachers who are all super supportive and sweet and just a great community and I love it. I enjoy teaching social studies. I love teaching my AP Psych. I love teaching my, um, I love teaching all my classes. I love my you know, Asian history class. They're all, they're all just massively fun. And um, um, I enjoy having the kids do debates and stuff like that. And I get to ask them interesting questions. So that's what I like the most. Oh, here at BFS, I would say that I'm, I'm most looking forward to uh, continuing to uh, grow the athletic program. I'm really excited about the number of participants that we have here in the school. The BFS Sharks uh, 
are a fantastic group and I've really enjoyed uh, coaching and, and teaching so far and I can only expect that uh, it will get better and better and, and the enthusiasm of the students and their talent and their drive to be successful is unmatched. So I'm looking forward to the athletic program growing and uh, bringing some championships to this school. Um, so far my favorite part about BFS is getting to know students from all over the world. Last year when I was the high school ELL teacher I had students from China and Indonesia, uh, Japan, Philippines and Russia so it was really fun to get to know all of the stu different students. Um, I never realized Busan had met so many Russian students so it's been nice to get to know them. My favorite part about BFS so far absolutely has to be the people. Uh, I think the people are what make any school uh, and just every morning when I get to see all the students coming in uh, and then every afternoon when I get to see them leave I get to see students who are happy, students who are focused, students who are polite and respectful and most of all students who are going to succeed. Um, the other people that I get to work with regularly are teachers and I just love the faculty here at BFS. Um, the best group of teachers that I've gotten to work with um, and teachers who really care about the students. Um, the parents that I've had the opportunity to meet have been really pleasant and welcoming and uh, so really overall the, the thing I like most about BFS so far is the people. Um, I think this is a school where people are focused on education. How is BFS different compared to your old school? It's different because it's more small and like people are more close so it feels more secure. What is your favorite part about BFS so far? Everybody is friendly and they're very welcoming. How is BFS different from your old school? BFS is much more freer than my previous school because in my previous school you will sit in a desk and listen to a teacher lecture all day. How is, you, how is BFS different from your previous school? In my previous school, everyone spoke in Russian. Also, I had more classes, uh, and my relationship with uh, teachers uh, was uh, wasn't as good as here. Yeah, what do you like about our school? Um, I like the community. Like the students are really they were really kind to me when I first came here, and yeah, they helped me a lot. And I think it's really nice to hang out with them. And the teachers. Um, the teachers seem really nice too and they seem to enjoy all the questions I ask. And yeah. How is BFS different from your old school? BFS is a lot smaller than my old school but it's also a more community sense type of school. What's one thing you like about BFS so far? I like how the classes are a little bit smaller and more personalized and the teachers are very agreeable and you can talk to them. Our students' body continues to grow and our returning students have evolving viewpoints as well. Uh, this new segment of our show is called the Fresh Perspectives. This is just a taste of some positive things happening in BFS. This year our goal is to cover the news of the whole school. If you have any ideas or stories, please contact us. Thank you for being with us today. See you next time. Two, one. Hello middle school and high school students. We have been working so hard on our first short tank news. Hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> one. Why, why, why don't we take a close look at the first paper rally of the year? In the past few weeks there has been <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> tank news and I hope Paparella Bay, and the first student. Sorry. <laughs>